Let's bring in Bell Point Chief Strategist David Nelson. You know, last year, AI is what drove technology. It drove the markets. Uh, now the question is, will AI continue? And, and many are saying yes, but that the, the evolution of AI is going to be a little bit different when it comes to business. I, I think the concern is real. And, and to Justice Roberts, what, what he's saying here, I have no problem with lawyers and, and paralegals using the technology for research. But the last thing we want is artificial intelligence being the final arbiter of justice. We, we certainly don't want that. I think, you know, the AI theme is going to continue in 2024. But I think the the real the, the real data set of opportunity is really the thousands of companies that will embrace this technology to enhance their top and bottom line. It's already permeated through the industrial complex. Companies like John Deere, General Motors, Delta Airlines are all using AI to to either bring new products uh, to, to the market, uh, manage assembly lines or even logistics. Yeah. Well, and that's that's you know, that's what you see regular, you know, excuse me, you know, but value companies, your deer, your Walmarts use AI. That seems to be the next. Those companies seem to be the success story. By the way, if Chief Justice Roberts really wants to get on the AI bandwagon, don't <laughs> wait until page five of this 13 page <laughs> report you're under to get to the point about AI in 2020. He, <laughs> he hasn't learned what we've all learned. It's a Get Throw it the into point. the model Let's and go. get the bullet points yeah. right at the top of the page. Come on. Come on, Justice Roberts. All right. So consensus on the street about the rate cuts, right? We could see a cut as early as March. That's Mr. Market talking. Uh, but I'm wondering if you think the markets are getting ahead of themselves. I mean, six rate cuts for 2024. It's a little aggressive. You know, coming into <laughs> coming into this year, uh, you know, the, the market had already priced in 125 basis points of cuts, some as early as March. In fact, uh, Goldman Sachs uh, capitulated last week. They moved up their timetable to March. It may not come uh, on the schedule that everybody looks at uh, or is counting on. The VIX coming into this year was at low levels, you know, just above 12. Mm -hmm. That shows me there's a a lot of complacency and a lot of people pricing things in and it, the, the sentiment has shifted over the course of the year from being you know bearish at the beginning of 2023 everybody's coming in a raging bull the timing of this may not work out as, ex as expected. See, okay so complacency you mentioned that um, and that there's a high level of that going into the new year but I mean does that are we saying that we're gonna have like a, a rough first quarter for the markets is this the, the red numbers today a sign of things to come? I, I'm pretty excited about the prospects for the new year. Even artificial intelligence is going to give us a productivity boost that, that's going to permeate throughout the entire market. That's going to afford the market, uh, you know, or at least support the current multiple, multiples that are there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Buying. What are you buying? Do you have like a, a little All right. So into that thing list? here, you know, with, with rate cuts, I think are coming no matter okay. what. They are coming. And that's going to be good for gold. Uh, it's certainly going to be good for gold. Even, we're over 2,000, though, on gold. I, mean. I think gold, gold did, did okay. Uh, the stocks didn't do okay, but gold did okay. Also, you have to realize the United States is weaponizing the dollar. There's a tremendous push throughout the world to de-dollarize for a lot of reasons, because as we sanction co uh, countries like Russia and Iran, every head of state around the world is saying, you know what? Today it's Russia. Tomorrow it could be us. You know, so we want to move to some other asset class. Now, that doesn't mean the dollar is going uh, anywhere anytime soon, but I think gold will do well. My pick in the space is Newmont Money, which was down 17 percent last year. But I think it's going to return to growth 38 and 48 percent, respectively, top and bottom line growth. I think you make an interesting point about the fact that other countries and, and this kind of this theme came up in 23 is that other countries now are starting to trade in denominations that are not the dollar. They're using currencies, whether it's China or India or, Bricks. you know, they're, they're saying, OK, enough with the dollar. If you're going to weaponize the dollar against me, to your point, then we're going to go somewhere why else. That is, that is worrisome. I yeah. agree with you. I, why shouldn't, you know, China and Russia obviously have a bent in interest to, to deal with each other. But right now, China is 25 percent of the exports of oil for, for Saudi Arabia. There's a lot of push for them to conduct that transaction in something that's non-dollar.